Hi, y'all. <laughs> Woo, I was scrambling. When I tell you I was scrambling, I was scrambling to put this thing together, okay? Listen, when Trish say that this, this live life, it ain't, it ain't as easy as it seems. You know, it's not like we get on here and we just start talking. We have to plan beforehand. Oh, my goodness. Whew. And yes, I'm out of breath. And and the King Michael. The King Michael. I'm going to get to your comment because you, you're trying to be funny. All right. So we got Junya here. What's up, Junya? We got Butterflies. Hey, Paula. Brenda J. Lovely. King Michael, Jerome. Wow, it's so many, so many, so many people joining in right now. Um, Kevin, Jamin, I'm excited too. We're going to get into it. Um, it's so much. Okay. All right, we got Jeffrey and One Glove Entertainment. No, back, back to you, the King Michael. Listen. Listen, listen, when, when duty calls, I, I have to answer, you know, I had no plan to go, to go live today at all whatsoever, but then, but then lovely AJ and justice for some said, I really hope, um, Gadgetrish and Invincible Jacksons go live today. I was like, you know what? Why don't I? Why don't I? It's a great, it's a great thing. No, listen, now you already know this is a no leak zone over here. But I was like, you know what? Why don't I do it? Why don't I do it? We found a lot of exciting stuff. Um, unfortunately, we can't see the teaser yet. I don't know how people got to go, but. I wish Mr. Graham King or the Lions Gate officials would have gave me a ticket because I'm I'm trying to see what I can. A crumb. Something. Something. So, yes. Um, see, I think what had happened was regarding Trish, you know, she is a hardworking woman. And she was saying that she was getting tired. And so I'm scrambling, trying to come up with what I can do at the last minute. And I think, I think after long days of being a hard working woman, she fell asleep on me. <laughs> so I can't get her. But if she hops on this live, I would definitely add her in here. Um, I am too. I, ha I, I really am too. I was like, I don't know what I could pull together from this, but I'm going to try my best. And there's a lot of good information that um, I have seen. So let let's get in. Hey, hey, Damari. Literally, so much excitement. Oh, thank. You. I ain't got the the fun heart things like Trisha do, but imagine there's hearts coming out. So, um, in my I want to say. One of my most recent lives I did was actually I have the slides messed up. So, oh no, I don't. I I actually don't. So my one of my most recent lives that I did was the was covering the Jackson Five casting news. So if you haven't seen that, you can watch that after this. We went, um, we went and discussed who the cast members were, and went into some of their background. Um, MJ Vibe had shared it, so I, I relayed it on here. Um, and then also we talked about the Hillelay walk-on role opportunity, which if you didn't know, the that auction ended up earning, I think the highest bid was around $43,000. So that was really, really good for the foundation. Um, and then the next uh, live that the most recent one that I did on my channel was the King of Popcorn movie lineup. And we did discuss the, I'm trying, I think it was the seven actors that were um, casted in the big, 
the big recent um, casting lineup. So the actors that we know so far, off the top of my head, I should have wrote this down. Of course, we know Jafar Jackson. He is going to be portraying Michael, main character, his uncle, Michael Jackson. And um, it's really, really just exciting to know that we that we have him. Um, I think having someone from the, the family was a good choice, but I don't think that was, I don't think that, I think that's just a plus as to, you know, who he is. I think, you know, they picked him because he genuinely was just almost as perfect he, as he can be for the role. And, um, oh, hey, MJ cast. Okay, wait. I thought I didn't want to say I was like, wait, I recognize your name, but I didn't want to say that it was if it was you or not, because I didn't want to sound silly, Jamin. But that's so cool you guys are here. But I'm I'm really happy that we have Jafar. I, I still replay the morning that I found the news out um that he got the role like multiple times. And it was honestly a dream come true. Um and then, of course, for Joe Jackson, we have um, Coleman Domingo, and he is a super talented actor. I just watched uh, Rustin, and oh my goodness, he did that role. Like, his character was just so, like, you know, it, it was a real guy, but, like, the way he was portraying that historical figure it, he did he did it really well and I honestly he should have got an Oscar for it I think it was like Oscar nominated or something but um what's cool about him was that he's really good with voices and and um I heard his voice when he first spoke and I was like I was wondering how like his the his tone and the way he um like I guess his cadence or his pace uh is much faster than the way Joe Jackson speaks. So I was like, I wonder how he's going to pull that off. But then going back and looking at his credentials, I did not realize that he was actually in Euphoria. And I remember watching it and I remember his character. And I was like, wait a minute, let me go watch a scene. He completely changed his voice for that character. And I was like, oh, we got it. Like, we got it. We we, we got him. Okay, so... Um, he's a really great actor, and he also shared that um, there will be um, some victory tour scenes and Man in the Mirror, of course. And um, I thought that was um, awesome that he shared that and confirmed that it, it was victory. Because um, we we were wondering, like, what tour will, will they show? Will they show the victory tour? Like, I feel like this movie could not be <laughs> done without the victory tour. Um, he is. For sure, a method actor. And, um, of course, we got Nia Long for Catherine. I know everybody, including myself, was like, oh, my goodness, it would be so cool if Angela Bassett could reprise as Catherine Jackson. And then, boom, we got the most, like, surprising, surprisingly good news. We got Nia Long as Catherine. And then I was like, why didn't I think of her as Catherine? And then... I was looking at the pictures. I was like, you know, like they have similar features and stuff. She could really pull this role off. And um, she has a lot of stuff under her belt. So a lot of movies and things that she's been in. So I, I have hope. And then, of course, I'm going to just jump right into it. Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate. I shared my thoughts on his casting last time. I think that in this case, of course, they weren't going like, oh, does he look like Barry Gordy? But um, I think maybe like acting wise and looking at his pictures now, um, he looks like he would be some sort of like owner or boss, CEO, something like that. So I feel like he can pull that role off really good. And of course, we got Kat Graham as um, honestly, you know, I should have these. I think I can actually pull up what I had. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. let me, let me add this on here. Okay. I still got it. So we got Kat Graham as Diana Ross. And before her, we had Laura Harrier, as Suzanne DePass. And then let's see, who else do we have? Lorenz Tate. And then, uh, the other casting, we have Jessica Sula as Latoya. Um, I think she is a, an actress from the UK and, um, I'm not familiar with her. So I think it's nice that they're 
bringing someone who's not as well known into this and some others as well and giving them a spotlight. And then we have Liv Simone as Gladys Knight. She looks like a young Gladys Knight. It's, it's crazy. Um, and then Kevin uh, Kevin Shinnick as Dick Clark. And the resemblance with him and Dick Clark, I was like, whoa. There's like one picture of him where he looks like he could be like a like an old school, like whimsical, like fun, um, like TV show host. I can't find it. I gotta. I I would have to like find it or whatever and show y'all. And then um, I I put the pictures in the wrong order or no the the casting in the wrong order. But next in the lineup on the pictures is Kendrick Sampson as Quincy Jones. And I think I haven't seen the show, but I think they said he was in Insecure that the show where uh, Issa Rae was the main character. And then Keelan Durrell Jones is Bill Bray. And once again, the resemblance, uncanny. Um, other than that, let's get into the big news. Actually, let me get into some some comments. Do 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 do. Ooh. Okay. Let me. I gotta start that comment. Um. Yes, I forgot that. Um. Lorenz Tate also played Quincy Jones in Ray, the the Ray Charles um, movie. So. Kind of like a full circle moment. Uh, MJ Cass says Jafar's man in the mirror rehearsal footage is really impressive. He has all the noise. He really does. I kept watching it over and over again. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so today, and I don't know how I forgot about this because I remember hearing about it maybe last week, a couple. A couple weeks ago, maybe I heard that there would be a CinemaCon, and that the first teaser or trailer of the Michael movie will be shown today. And I was like, "Okay, let me just put that in my back pocket." And I completely forgot. So I opened my Instagram. Shout out to Junya; he keeps me updated. Um, he keeps me updated on all the all the Michael stuff, and the King Michael does too. Um, if I miss something, I they I know they're gonna send it to me. So yeah, Graham King presented the first teaser for the movie today, and he also shared some things about the movie. Um, so I'm gonna get into that. And I, what's cool is that they waited. Like someone said they waited and saved the best for last. This was the last presentation for um, this year's CinemaCon. So. I would say they saved the best for last, too. Um, what was revealed from today's showing? Well, first, Graham King, and this is all from uh, Deadline, the Deadline article. Graham King said Michael was an enigma full of eccentricities and talent. He was also simply a man who lived a very complicated life. The movie will get into all of it, his life on stage and his life out of the public eye. So this is what I assumed, and from like looking at all the information and articles that we've gotten over the past, well, since we got the announcement, I guess back in, what was that, 2022, maybe February 2022, um, this is going to be a movie that showed him as a performer, as a star, and like his personal life as well. Now, what that all will include, I'm not super sure yet. I would hope that it would be, I've shared my thoughts. I would hope it shares um, his personal pastimes, things that he liked to do. That's why I included a picture of him. Well, it's a, supposed to be a picture of him reading, but the words are covering up. So like um, him reading, um, you know, just like he liked to draw and do art. Excuse my brother, this boy is loud in the background. I'm going to have time to be quiet. But um, also like his humanitarianism. And I'm, I'm going to tell him to be quiet. Hold on.
sorry about that. Um, so humanitarianism, things that he liked to do, art, reading, um, you know, his intelligence, he was really, really, really smart. Wait, let me see. Hmm. I was wondering why they like kept using complicated. Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, he wasn't complicated. It was complicated, like what people put him through, and like, or like just the the circumstances around him, like. I don't know. I kind of wish like that, that word wasn't used. Say, I would like to like, I would like to see more words like multifaceted or uh, like he was a multifaceted person or he, there was different levels to him. Just different wording would be nice. Um, And of course I would also like to see. Yeah. Yeah, because they're already trying to spin it and say that it's something that is not. And I'm going to just talk about this one time. I don't like to highlight too much the negativity, but I just, I, it just baffled me when I, when I found out that they were going to, that they were trying to say that this movie is going to force his innocence. And I'm like, how can you try and force something that's a fact. He is innocent. And I want that movie to portray that. That's what I want. So I don't want, I don't want there to be an open-ended question at the end. I don't want it to be like, uh, you know, some people are like, I'm not sure, but he was a great artist still. Like, no, I don't want no open-ended questions. We know what it was. He is innocent. So, um, that's another thing that I would like to see. So we have not seen the trailer ourselves, Joe. Uh, we we, we kind of left in the dark on that one at the moment. But um, I'm hoping that we can see the trailer soon. I, I feel like the fans at least deserve it. You know, we're trying to be patient and hold on. and we, We're really supporting this. We're going hard for this. Um, but they showed it at the CinemaCon today. So, yeah, complex. Complex. I guess I can kind of see, like, both sides, but just wish there were more words. Um, also, I want to see him as a, a father. Like, I know, like, re reading the Remember the Time book by w Bill Whitfield and Jay Vaughn, they, they said that there was one time Michael was like, hey... I ran out of laundry detergent. They were like, what? What you worried about the laundry detergent for? Like, don't the nanny do it? Don't you got like a maid? Is what they were thinking. And he washed his kids' clothes. I think, you know, some people were, I think some people automatically think with, like celebrities may not do like regular, regular things. And that's just, I, that's kind of how we all think. Like, I thought that's, I was like, Michael washed his kids' clothes? I would have thought maybe he was booked and busy and I don't know. But yeah, he was, he was just like a a good father and um i remember there was one story where all the kids were supposed to take a test and one of them failed and they were all getting ready to get in the car to go on an outing a field trip and adventure and when michael found out that one of them kids did not do good on their work he said nope get, get back in the house get back in the house so i think that that need that side of him needs to be shown to the world as well it's humanizing um, I just overall I just want to see him humanize. And of course, seeing him on stage as, you know, little Michael, um, I'm curious to know if they're gonna, well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into that. I don't want to get, get too ahead of myself. Um, yes, he was a misunderstood genius. Um, so in regards to the description of the trailer, Deadline reported that the footage begins with scenes of screaming fans and cuts to Jackson as a little boy whose mother tells him there might be some people who think you're different and that's going to make life a little harder for you.
but you never were like anyone else. And that, that right there, like, if that's the opening, I would have been, I would have been on the floor already in shambles, in tears, crying. And, um, I love that they put that in there. Like, that's the first thing people see because, Oh, that's a good question. Curious, what do you think about the exclusion of the word Jackson from the title? Are, f- are folks who are concerned about that overthinking? The family wasn't painted in the best light in MJ the musical. Ooh. Really? Oh, see, I haven't seen the musical yet. I mean, I've heard some things but about one person, but... I didn't know. I didn't know about that. I think. I don't know. I kind of think there might be a method to the madness because I remember when we first were finding out about this movie. I won't say that there people are overreacting because I would probably. I don't know. I could have probably thought that too. Like, oh, why isn't it Michael Jackson? Um, I think what someone said was they like the name Michael because it's simple, but it's like it humanizes him as well because it's not just like Michael Jackson. I think when people associate the the last name Jackson, they, they automatically think the superstar kind of like how Janet was like, Janet didn't want her last name on her, her very first album because she was Janet. She didn't want to be characterized by like, you know, or she didn't want preconceived notions about her artistry just from her last name. She wanted to be Janet and create that, you know, that name for herself. So I think if people saw Michael Jackson, they might think, oh, the star, the celebrity. But when you say Michael, 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 the brother, Michael, the father, Michael, the son, Michael, the the celebrity, Michael, the performer, the the humanitarian, just, I think it'll kind of get, I feel like it kind of gives more room for for people to think about, you know, all of who he is. Um, yeah, April is taking too, too long. Um, I think the exclusion of the word Jackson simply represents Michael's iconic status. Oh, that's an interesting way to think about it. It's kind of like, wow. I didn't, I didn't not, I didn't think about it that way. Cause if you say Michael, like, you know, I know me, I'm gonna think Michael Jackson. You know, I, I might have some bias because I I've been a Michael Jackson fan like for a good portion of my life. So I might just, I even turn around at the name Michael Jackson like it's my own. So I don't know. But that's a, that's a good way to think about it. And someone someone said Michael Jackson is the star. You like the name Michael for the title. Calling it just Michael, I think, humanizes him a little. Michael Jackson is a persona everyone has an idea of already. Hmm. Do you think they would show his funeral and memorial service? Listen. I don't know, but I don't want to think about that part of the movie. I don't want to think about that part of his story. Um, So we will have to see on that one. Um, No, same. Like, oh, my goodness. Everyone is just, everyone, like, I, I love everybody's, like, you know, excitement surrounding the news in this movie. And, um, it's just, it just feels good. Like we're, we're really winning. Like, of course there's outside forces trying to skew the narrative still, but it's, we're not letting that stop us. Michael is, is still thriving. You know, he's timeless. He's a legend. Um, so yeah. Hey, Joey. I, I am too. Oh, thank you. I always thought about the biblical. Oh yeah, what is the name? Um, 
I know the short term one means I want to make sure I have the name. It's like, oh, it means who is like God, like question who is like God or a gift from God. Wow. That, that I remember him telling somebody, um, I think it was Michael Bearden. And he was like, you know what our name means? And um, then I think he was like, you know, we can, we got to be humble or something like that. Like we have like a, a powerful, um, like a powerful, what is the word? What is the word? I can't think of the word right now. Purpose. I'll just say purpose or like responsibility. There, There's the word I'm looking for, uh, responsibility. Um yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out. So um, the other thing was, of course, in a voiceover, Grown Up Jackson says, of performing, it transports your entire being. That's what I want the world to feel like, magic. Um, a question. This sounds like a familiar quote. Did Michael say that in real life? Or is, like, is that like one of his actual quotes? Somebody help me out in the comments because <laughs> there's so many Michael quotes. Um. Oh, and then another one. Um, at one point, his voiceover says, when I'm not on stage, everything feels foreign to me. So there goes that other side showing again, like it's going to show his personal life again. And then um, a voiceover from what appears to be his mother, Catherine Jackson, adds, you have a very special light. So let the light shine into the world. I feel like I got to look it up. I, I should have looked it up, but I'm sorry I didn't. Um, yeah, y'all go ahead and subscribe to Joey. He's one of, hey, I always got to give him credit as one of the first people to get um, news out on YouTube and, and just sharing it out there and keeping people updated. So make sure y'all subscribe to him and uh, show him some love. I'm wondering about the premieres for the album releases. The estate have parties in New York and London, and I think LA. I wonder if they'll do the same for the biopic. I want to come back to that because at the end, I'm I kind of want to like open up the like possibilities um, of what could come from this. And then it says some of the footage shown in the exhibitor to the exhibitor crowd today at the Caesars Coliseum appears to take place during the off the wall era as well as that of the bad man in the mirror wait well i don't know why i read it that way man in the mirror is a key song heard throughout we also see the pop singer's nephew jafar jackson performing on stage as the king of pop mm, see I I don't know how I could have sat in that in that cinema con today if I was there with Band in the Mirror playing and and all that because once again that's my favorite song and I think even when Michael had you know passed that was the song that everybody went to that was the song that I feel like in it was the song that was in its simplest form it represented like who he was. So I, it has a powerful meaning. And um, I cannot wait to see what Jafar will look like as Michael in the bad era. I feel like that's the era that's really going to like just knock it out the park for me. Like I, I'm I like that's the one that we haven't seen yet. Of course, the one that they did put out was dangerous and the others that we've seen we should not have seen. But, you know, you know, we've seen a lot of eras. Um, and I've heard that even from like the Jacksons, some of the Jacksons themselves, you know, they can't say too, say too much, but they say that Jafar is doing a phenomenal job. And I think when Coleman Domingo was saying that the victory performance was in there and that Man in the Mirror was in there, something like spiritual happened or something at that during that performance or like the um, portrayal of it. And the guy who took the picture of Jafar, um, let me go back. This one, this one. Uh, I think his name is Kevin Mazur or Matt. 
Mazer or something like that. And he was he was photographing Michael, you know, back when he was still here and photographing his performances and stuff. And um, he said that when he was seeing this, this portrayal of um, Jafar performing, it was like seeing Michael all over again. And Prince said this was the closest thing to seeing his father perform. So, yes, thank you. Thank you for putting that in there. Um, yes, that is the photographer who took this picture. Um, yo, he better be doing the head banging, the, all, all of it. All of it. Or wait, you mean in like the performance or the short film recreation? That, that's what I want to know because I, I kind of want to see both. And that's another thing. Will they recreate short films? See, oh, I was literally just thinking that. I was literally just thinking that. Would they do remember the time? Um, I could. Ooh, I could see it being done maybe on Michael's birthday. And maybe even um, the birthday event in Vegas, they usually show something, some kind of like video or footage. Um, so they could end up showing that there. Um, I don't know. I don't know when they could have. Um a recreation of the behind the scenes of black white. Okay, if they, but if they got to do the the behind the scenes, they got to do that one clip where it's like where the real Michael Jackson step forward, and then he busts out laughing when the, when the imposter steps up. I have to see that. That's that's another thing I want to see like his pranks, his um, just his goofiness. You know, he was a jokester. The water balloons, the the water gun fight, super soaker fights and stuff at Neverland. Um. All that stuff. Like, I think people be like, oh, like, you know, Michael's just like me. He's just a regular person. People just be forgetting that. And I don't know. I think being a fan for so long, it's easy for me to see. But, like, I don't know. I think we just got to think about that for, like, all celebrities. But um, at the end of Deadline's article, they said the pick shows it all. From the Jackson's childhood days in snowy Gary, Indiana, to the Jackson 5 performing, and the Thriller star being mobbed by fans while sitting in a limo. Now, I was just thinking that they were going to show maybe when they, you know, first got a start with Motown. I thought that's where they were going to start it at, or um, maybe even like at the Ed Sullivan show. Like by that point, once their first single came out, but back in Gary, but so then here's my next question. Will they show the house? Because I know they're supposed to, they, they were, they're filming at Havenhurst or just got done. And then they're about to start filming at Neverland. What about the house and Gary? Like, Hmm. I don't know. And then him being mobbed by fans while sitting in the limo, that's about to be that's about to be crazy. I think it's cool that they're showing the Gary Days. Now I know some people might be like, oh, we already seen that in the Jacksons and American Dream. But I still want to see that included because that's important. That shows where they came from. That shows that you know you can make if you really work hard and if you're really meant to do it, you can make something happen out of like a hard situation. Um, yes, yes, I did. You know what? Let me go ahead and plug that real quick. I'm gonna share it really quick. Uh, okay.
Here is John Mudo, um, uh, one of the creators of the Hill Los Angeles Foundation, or founders, I should say, one of the founders. And he went, he just went to the Gary House. Now, where in the world did he get this jacket? And why have I never seen it before? That That's my question. But I really would love to know. And if anyone knows this, do y'all think they're going to film at the Gary House? Or will they do like what they did in The American Dream where they filmed at a completely different house? Um, yo, that's a good question. That, ne that needs to be included for sure. Because we didn't get that in The American Dream. We didn't get that at all. Um and I felt like they should have put that in there, honestly. Like, oh, the Jacksons have music before Motown? Yeah, they did. Ciao. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I'm looking at the comments. Yeah, there are a lot of new fans that don't know about the Gary story. Yeah. There's a lot of people, a lot of famous people that came from, you know, hardship, hard times. And they really kind of put Gary on the map. Um, I don't think I would have ever heard of Gary in the end. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Or I probably wouldn't have, think about it so much had it not been for the family. And I think that probably showed people like, whoa, they, they came from something, you know, that I'm going through right now. And, you know, they, they made it through. Look at Michael. Look at Janet. Jackson's, you know, all of them. And... It might be. It might feel like a, a source of inspiration in this movie too. I, I would like for the movie to feel like inspiration, and um, that that's a good point. I just I hope that there's more, more to it. Um, even like when Catherine said, "I don't know if they would show like a baby or anything." Or no, Catherine said one of the first times she heard Michael singing was like when he was making his bed, and that's when she realized he could sing or so it, I think that's how the story goes, but even something like that, just kind of showing like the start things that we did not get in the American dream. Yeah. And didn't one um, from Chicago get kind of like popular in Chicago. Honestly, I became a fan as an adult and didn't connect to him connect him to J5 for years. Yeah, I think that that will show them. I think that will show show them why or how he is or how like he was the artist that he came to be if they showed the Jackson 5 and Gary days. Yo, I'm telling I'm doing a whole I'm doing a whole reaction video. I'm doing a whole reaction video once that happens. I'm I'm really, really excited um, for that. I, I hope it's sooner than his birthday. I'm not going to lie, but I could see them doing it on his birthday. Um, let's see what else are y'all saying in here. Yes, you have to show the beginning. Ooh. Do you think the movie will address Michael's feelings about the interview is so iconic they can't skip it, but the aftermath? I the one that shall not be named. Okay, so I think after thinking about it for a couple of seconds, I think they should put it in there and emphasize that that individual went into his house with preconceived ideas and disrespected him. I wish somebody would step in my house and disrespect me, my, Michael better than me. But I think that will show that people have these false preconceived ideas about him. Like, how do you tell someone, oh, I thought I was going to come in here and find was it the elephant man elephant man bones and it's like why was that necessary just ask them like really personal inappropriate questions like 
as hard as that, you know, as hard as it is to watch that, I do think they should put it in there. Um, I'm hoping that they would depict it. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, yeah, they're going to have to show that one too. Because that, that really took something and took nothing and turned it into a big old mess. Okay, and the last thing, I think Joey Joey said this in the chat about the 30 songs. Now, when I first read it, I was thinking, oh, it's 30 songs. They're going to include 30 songs. Like, that's huge. Over 30 songs? I completely skipped over the over 30 songs. Over 30 songs, y'all. Can we get some... some Deep cuts. Can we get some deep cut Jackson five deep cut Jacksons? Like I know we're getting it, it's from um Rich and Tone's Instagram story that one video. I know we're getting this place hotel. We're getting Man in the Mirror. Um, I feel like we have to get Billy Jean. Like that's a given. Thriller too. Um, but the deep cuts. Like I would like to see Childhood in there. Uh, what's some more deep cuts? For, I know this is not really like a, an autobiographical song, but I would like to see or, or hear, even just hear, Can't Let Her Get Away. Songs like that, Baby Be Mine. Um, you know, stuff that the locals may not think first about. Um, or maybe even a song that we've never heard before, like an unreleased one. That would be... Listen, AJ, this one's for you. Is it scary? I need to see a depiction of the ghost short film. I need to see a depiction of the ghost short film. I'm going to say it again. I need to see a depiction of the ghost short film. I need to hear, is it scary, ghost something? Because that is symbolically his most autobiographical short film. Well, that and childhood, but ooh, tabloid junkie. Yes, please. Please. Ghost has to be in there. Dangerous tour. They used to play someone. Yes. Someone put your hand out. I want to see stuff like I want to see studio scenes, but maybe even a studio scene of him recording a, a lesser known song. Kind of so like if people go go to the, the theater to see the movie, they'll be like, what's this song? I've never heard it before. Like I was playing music at work and I put I put on Baby Be Mine. Immediately from the beat, my coworker said, oh, I like this. I like that. And then, of course, they heard Michael's voice come through. And they said, of course, this is why we like it. It's Michael. So, like, I got to put them onto a new song. And it don't even got to be Baby Mine. It could be something completely different. Uh, when they say a full length, it sounds like they're going to do his whole entire life. That's what I'm thinking from, from the things that I saw and read. And I'm going to get into some of what the attendees have said um, as well. Someone mentioned that. Ooh, fly away. What if they show Scream? That would be crazy. Uh, they confirmed it's birth to death. They don't care about us. Listen, the whole history album, the whole history album. Oh man. That that's gonna be rough, I'm not gonna lie. But they need to show the whole story. I, I think they need to show the whole story. Do you know where your children are? Price of fame. You are not alone. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> 
Um, so like I said, some people were sharing their reactions to it from the um cinema con today, and Scott Mant said, saw the first footage of Michael at, at Cinema Con, and wow, Jafar Jackson looks sensational as his uncle Michael Jackson. Um, movie is only halfway through production, which I did forget to mention. The movie, or did I, I don't know if I said it, but yes, the movie is not even not even done. It's halfway through production. Um, and just see just the fact that it's not even done. They showed this teaser. I'm not even sure how long it was, but to see people's reactions that went and saw it, like, I mean, if y'all tripping out, it ain't even done yet. Whew, imagine the finished product, but it will feature 30 MJ songs and Coleman Domingo as father Joe and Neil Long as mother Catherine. Look great opens 2025, April 18, 2025. That's a little over a year from now. We gotta wait. We still gotta wait a year. Um, and then Shalice said, I just got chills. This biopic is gonna be record is gonna be record breaking. Lionsgate saved the best for last. A first look at the Michael Jackson biopic just shook the audience. Now that's how you close out a presentation. Okay. So so what I'm getting is that of all the films and stuff that was shown or highlighted at this thing, this is the best one. This was the best one. Oh my. I'm telling you, box office talliers, record, record recorders, get ready to get these numbers tally because we are coming in droves. Um, and then, wait a minute. Oh, I guess his name is Scott too. But uh, this other Scott also said the Michael the Michael footage that was shown at CinemaCon looked so I'm gonna say dang so dang great. It honestly gave me the chills. I don't know how this movie would do it at the box office, but it looks absolutely phenomenal. It better do good. It better y'all get to save it right now. I will be in that theater like buying every day, um, just to go see that movie. Just saw the trailer for the Michael movie and I teared up. It was so good. Oh. God. Oh, someone in the dark. Oh, wow. Um, Fly Away is technically a Ruby song. Yo, but what? It would be cool if they, people would be like, wait a minute. Isn't this Ruby song? Or like, I heard this song by somebody else. And then they'll be like, wait, Michael did it. This was Michael's song first. That would be like, I feel like this is going to be showing people new music or having them maybe hone in on different things that they, they didn't know about before, or think about before. Like, I know me after a movie, I, I look up the cast, I look up everything. I look up the music that was in it. I'll be like, what song was this? I listen, I know like New Edition Story turned me into a New Edition fan. Um, and after that movie, I was I was hooked, or miniseries, I was I was hooked. And it created a lot of new edition fans. So I feel like this movie can do that and more. Um, since it, it will be a blockbuster release. Um oh, oh, that's a nice scene concept. I'd like to hear Price of Fame and I'd like to hear Free in terms of a concept where he is doing an interview talking about the struggles of being famous and end it off with Free. That would make us cry, but that would be a symbolic music transition. Um, speaking of crying, Best of Joy. Oh, I think AJ said this too. Will you be there? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, they better show it. This is one of my all time favorite Jackson, Jackson brothers, like performances. So they, they got to show it. They better show it. But that means that they might have to show what was going on behind the scenes. Ooh. I don't know. I'm just thinking of terms like, oh, like the highs and then the lows. Ooh, they're going to have to show it all. Oh, and how he said, when somebody said, how'd you keep going or why'd you keep going? He was like, I heard my father saying like, the show must go on. That would be like a powerful part if they included that as well.
That's that was my question too. I did I forgot to talk about it, but that was my question too. Like, of course we got little Michael, but what about that turning point when he was becoming a teen, like 1972? And I would say 1972 to 19 early 1975. It's kind of like that young teen, um, young teen era, I would say. And then I feel like Jafar could, you know, take it in like late 75. But I was wondering about that too, or will it be like a time jump? It was a private screening. They saying somebody got the footage, but I'm not showing it on here. If it's out there, y'all, hey, Lionsgate, please, y'all not coming to get me. <laughs> but uh, glad to see you here, Mar. Um Listen, all oh, for all time. Mm hmm. Yeah, I need to. I would like. I need to go like look at more. There was another guy. I didn't get to watch it, but he did a, a like a a video sharing like vocalizing what all was like in it, and like he sounded really excited. Um, they will. It it will be. It will be. This is going to be like a surge in his legacy, a surge in the amount of fans. And um, I'm excited. Like, I low-key hope that people who are tired of me talking about Michael Jackson go see this movie, are like, wow, do their research about him and be like, I get why you love him. At least, have, at least I want this movie. You don't have to be a fan. You don't have to like his music because art and music is you know, it's subjective, you know, but when it comes down to who he was as a person, I want people to respect him. I want people to respect his, um, his hard work. Um, you know, the things that he did, his heart, his kindness, the way he treated people. I want, I want them to res to give him a respect at the very least and not treat him any differently than, because you know how many times I bring up Michael and people are like, oh, but they get to talk about this other person. I'm just like, keep the same energy. Um, Jermaine mentioned that he loved Fly Away and told Michael that as well. What did he say this at? And by the way, once again, Jermaine, where are you? Where are you at, Jermaine? He will be. He definitely will be. Listen, they got these documentaries in, in the in the works. While we're showing up and showing out for this movie and all the news, we got to show up and show out for those. Um, and support them. When they come out, support them. Share. Um, I know Jen, Jen Chohan is, I think he's still trying to get funding for it. But um, you know, if you feel it in your heart to give or even share it, I would say do that. Mm -hmm. I hope the marketing team is ready with Spotify lists and live performances. Mm -hmm. Imagine the charts when the biopic premieres. It's totally possible that Michael could. Who? Why I almost stop crying? Why I almost start crying? Like. Would that be a record breaking thing? Like to be an artist who has passed and then occupy all top 10 spots? What kind, what type of what would that what would that record be? Like what record would that be, bro? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Um oh, see, I was wondering that too. There's gonna be some sort of premiere. And um, AJ said this too. I'm wondering about the premieres for album releases. The estate had parties in New York, London, and I think LA. If they'll do the same for the, I wonder if they'll do the same for the biopic. I hope they do. I hope they do like some sort of premiere party, um, premiere release for the fans. You know, like I get like the general public or, you know, other actors and stuff or movie makers. But I want the fans to be a part of this too. Like, 
we're we're going hard. We we're working our butts off and stuff. And you know, just to keep his legacy alive, I I, I really hope they do something. Um, or give us some sort of space to celebrate the movie, to celebrate the release, celebrate the premiere, something like that. Like, I would hope they would invite, they would have like a really special premiere or viewing and invite us and just make it really special. Once again, a state, if y'all do this or whatever theater y'all have us in, just like it is at the church. I need a tissue box under, not necessarily every row. We're going to need it under every seat. We're going to need that. Thank you. Please and thank you. Um, I would also like to see popcorn with hot sauce, spray butter. I tried that recently, and that's, that's a good combination. Jackson's going to something. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't, I don't know where Jermaine is. I, I don't know. But I need him to come back. He, he dropped... Summertime feeling, and then he dropped another song. I think he had to unrelease it or something like that. But now he's gone. Where's the album, Jermaine? He's probably just like working and supporting um, Jafar, though, because this is this is a huge journey. As far as Tito, Tito actually just did this episode, or I don't know if he. Well, I guess at the beginning of the year, he did an episode of Frequency, which is Austin Brown's show where he talks with different like musicians and they talk about music and he interviews them and stuff. And Tito was talking about like the the Jackson's upbringing and, you know, their work ethic and stuff. And, um, you know, just sharing that and different things. It was very, the conversation was very Jackson family oriented and um how all of them played a role and then at the end they sung a song together from tito's tito time album it was home is where the heart is um it was a really good it was a really good episode listen <laughs> i'm about to start making signs have you seen him where is jermaine lawan jackson think of the soundtrack Ooh. And it's hard because, like, Michael has such a large soundtrack, or not soundtrack, but discography. How would they dwindle that down? I would say I like I would like to see a mix of his hits, um, Jackson Five songs, Jackson songs, um, his un underrated stuff, um, his autobiographical stuff as well. Just a mix of it. I don't want it to just be like the hits, like just, you know, like the beat it, the Billie Jean, the thriller, the bad, smooth criminal, Dirty Diana. Not just that stuff, but more. And I would like to see an original song or two by Jafar for this movie. Or I guess if, I don't know how much uh, singing Jafar is going to do. But if there's any songs, maybe they'll have like a disc one or disc two where like they'll have some disc one or something like that is going to be songs, original songs from Michael and then disc two might be Jafar singing the song or something. The possibility is endless. Um, We can help Michael break records on the billboard. We really could. Plug in the Thriller Challenge. Get ready, y'all. Thriller Challenge 2024 is coming. Um, I'm curious to see the Victory Tour and Victory Era Victory Tour and how they style Jafar as Michael and how epic all the brothers step into. I better hear the doom, doom, doom of them all stepping down. I better hear it. And then seeing the crowd just like, ah, I specifically want to see the Dodger Stadium um, remake where Tito is dressed in the baseball uniform and he has the baseball guitar. I think that would be a fun touch to add to the movie. Uh, Taylor Swift is the first person to occupy odds and spots, but she is alive. No legacy artist. Is That's a great way to put it. That's a great. I think I was almost there, but I just didn't know what to call it. The first legacy artist to occupy 
all top 10 spots of the Billboard Hot 100 posthumously. That's what we call it. Get ready for get ready to make make your posts. Write that down, y'all, because I really I really would love that to happen for him. Um, oh wait, you made me think of something. I want to see the Triumph era depicted. Like the outfits were fun. Um, I love the Triumph album. That was uh their I would say that was like their first major, major, huge, big break after leaving Motown. So I want to see that depicted as well. And I would it would be fun to see like the brothers in the Jackson's era in a studio scene. Cause we saw like the Jackson five um studio scenes from Jackson's and American Dream. But like what about the brothers now? Um Ooh, maybe at Havenhurst. I thought about that, like a movie premiere at Havenhurst. Um, a movie premiere at Neverland would be cool too. Or maybe even the Chinese theater. I don't know how. I don't know how big that is inside. I've never been there, but hmm, it's a thought. It's a thought. Yo, it's going to be a big, I'm telling you, it's going to be a big, 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 big family reunion. Huge family reunion. You're like, hey, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> yes, Tito is also touring with the Jacksons. And they are going back to Indiana in a month. In literally nearly a month from now. Um, I know this film will break box office records. We are coming to the theater like we did when the original Black Panther was released. Okay, I need that type of energy and some. I need to see pictures of people dressed up as Michael Jackson from all different eras. Jackson 5, Jackson's era, you name it. I want to see that. I want to see the Swarovski crystals, the the glitter, the shine, uh, the dust is what he would like to call it. Um, all of it. I don't want any more albums, to be honest. I want footage more than anything after the biopic is released. There's no reason why Triumph to Listen, listen, listen. I didn't want to clap too loud, but I've been saying that we need Triumph. We ain't even got Triumph touring 780p. Not even 780p. I got a squint to make out who was who. I'm like, is that Marlon? <laughs> like, is that Michael? Like, who was who? Um, I I think that we should get Triumph to wear in 4K. We deserve it. We deserve to see the Jacksons all in that glitter. I need it, like you said, Blu-ray. Honestly, I would love to see, I would love to eventually see all of Michael's solo tours like i can see them doing two separate dvd like packages having like a dvd set with michael's solo tours upgraded to uh 4k and then the jackson's tours upgraded to 4k and then i'm i'm sure motown would have to do this but uh jackson 5 we don't have i don't know if we have a full length jackson 5 concert on youtube at all I need the trailer for get a soundtrack. I need raw footage. Yo, we're all kind of left in the dark on this one. What I was like, dang, all these people got to see it. And we over here, like, we got to, like, read, like, word play-by-plays of what, what all happened in the trailer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Great time to release History 30 to coincide. Mm-hmm. I was just... I was saying that. Like, that's his... Autobi most autobiographical album the year that his biopic is being released it will go hand in hand it will go hand in hand I need a 15 to 20 minute concert scene <laughs> oh man I saw Triumph and Victory live those were great tours <laughs> How does it feel to live my dreams? How does it feel? I hope we get comedic relief. Yeah. Yup. I, I was saying I need to see the pranks. Um, 
the the water balloon fights, super soaker fights. Um, I remember. I I'm not gonna say the story because I can't exactly remember how it goes, but Michael was just he was goofy. Um, he was very goofy. There's even like lesser known. I would like to see lesser known stories or like stories that we don't even know about, like. I don't know, Michael was arrested. <laughs> and it was like for silly stuff, like unpaid parking tickets. Like, just stuff like that. Um, oh, as sad as it is, as sad as it is, you know, the Jacksons, they, the Jackson Five, to be such young boys and to try and make it in a time where there's a lot of race, racism, racial is, issues, where they had to, I think, you know, walk in the back doors of the venues they performed at. I think that's what I heard. And that should be depicted as well. There were so many circumstances against them and for them to just rise above that and be role models for so many different people, so many different skin colors, genders, ages around the world, that speaks volumes. So put that in there as well. Uh, imagine we get the, imagine we get a headline that says, Angela Bassett will be, it has been casted as Katherine Jackson's mother. Oh man, that would be a full circle moment. Mm-hmm. Triumphs were for 4K. Oh, Dolby Vision. Can't wait until Jafar releases a song or two for the soundtrack. But what if they release an unreleased song or two from the mic for Michael for the soundtrack? I was thinking that too. Like there's a lot of different songs that we haven't heard from him still. Even think about the Jacksons. I think there's only one release song that's out there. But like what else do they have in their catalog? Like unreleased catalog or the vault. <laughs> Stop. I want to see Michael Robinson do folks George being <laughs> like he simultaneously remind me of somebody's nosy grandmother and a and a little child at one time. Like what? What? Lock your stuff up. Michael's gonna be rubbing. He might not take nothing, but he's just gonna be rummaging through it. If you don't want him to see, <laughs> he was just goofy. I'll be on spaces tomorrow about the biopic. What time? Let me know what time, and then I'll, I'll plug your. Um... Or do you have the? Do you have the the link? to the spaces prepared and I can put that in here. Show the books at Neverland posting with post notes and all of them. Yes. Showing that he read each and every one he researched and was far more educated than the media depicted him to be. I need that. I want a depiction of the Neverland library. That thing was huge. That's what I want to see. That that's what I want to see. Um I'm trying to think what else. We have the silly goofiness, you know, reading, um, intelligence, humanitarianism. Um, I know he had a lot of, you know, things that he didn't show. It was a lot of behind the scenes, like hurts and stuff. I feel like that's going to be in there. And the vitiligo addressed. Oh, the candy, the candy when he was, when he was buying the candy from the candy store and selling it. I know that was in the other one as well. How much you sell it for? A nickel. <laughs> like, like early, he was business minded, even at that, even at that age, business minded. He was a businessman. He had an empire. That needs to be in there as well. Yes, for all time has that's a, that's a cinematic song, like thinking about that's a cinematic song. That one, childhood, dirty Diana. Um, what's another one? I can't 
think I have a whole list of like cinematic Michael Jackson songs, and I'm just blank. This whole this place hotel torture. Mm. Much too soon. That that tells a story. Not gonna lie, they need to make a director's cut of Michael and show us Jafar getting prepared to take the stage. I also need 10 minutes of non. I could definitely see that be like in the DVD, like when the DVD comes out in like the special features and even like maybe um, a special one um, or a, a second DVD of like a documentary of him getting ready for it. That would be amazing like that would be that would be something to see right there within itself that's a huge role to take on that's a lot of preparation and he's been quiet for like a while now i think it's been maybe three years since graham king first met him so you know just because he's michael's nephew that don't mean that he has not been researching i bet you he has been studying researching memorizing all that stuff Mm-hmm. And those experiences led to some of their social injustice songs. Chicago 1945, official release, please. 10,000 10, books. Listen, I would have had a field day up in that library, just up in there like, wait. I'd be like, Michael, can I borrow this? I could definitely see him, see him being like, sure, you can just have it. Sure, take it. <laughs> like... I want to see them make Billie Jean in the studio, in the movie, and Motown 25. Uh, they're they're going to have to include Motown 25. Like, if they don't, like, what's wrong with them? Um, studio. You mentioned studio. I need to see him. Um, I think Dark Child, Rodney Jerkins, said that when they were doing, working on the Invincible album, Michael would have to bring a backup shirt because he would be dancing so much in the studio that he would sweat out of the shirt he came in. I need to see that. Like, he wasn't just performing on the stage. He was doing all that in the studio. I'm eager to witness Michael's drive to enter the world of film. He aspired to both direct and star in numerous productions. Oh, like, The Wiz. Oh, that has to be in there. The Wiz, um, even like maybe a, some depictions of him planning his short films or, you know, scouting for like locations and stuff, where to film it. Wow, that's, see, I'm telling you, he's so multifaceted. And there's more I'm going to share. Um, we're just like deep in conversation right now. Um, there's more I'm going to share in regards to this trailer in just a bit. Um, trying to figure out what Toys R Us that means. I think they said that Toys R Us logo is from the late 70, I think maybe 78 to 88 or something. So I don't know what that means either. So maybe sometime in the Jacksons era or anywhere in the 80s, he it could show. Um oh wait, let me see. Joey's Spaces. I'm going to put this on the screen so y'all can get the visual. Joey will be doing a Spaces Tomorrow talking all things about the MJ biopic around 1 p.m. EST. Will you be there? Will you be there? Um, and then this is his Twitter handle, at MJKingdom123. So make sure y'all go follow him. And um, show up to the spaces if you can. Oh, 
right. So going live on YouTube as well. This is his YouTube channel, Moonwalking Kingdom, no spaces. Honestly, hope why isn't listen. I want a 3T depiction. Can we get a Taj, Cheryl, and TJ F in there? That would be like, and then that would show like his connection with his family. Like the love that they have for each other, the, the closeness and stuff. Um, you know, his nieces and nephews, they all have like good memories of him. Like Stacy, she was the first, she was the first grand um grandbaby. And there's that story of Michael. I think he was like playing with her or like babysitting. I don't know. I don't know. I think he was just like playing with her. And then um he disappeared for a while. They're like, where's Michael? They go in the room and he's like sleep next to her in the crib or something. And um, I think oh, there was something that she wrote in the program at his memorial. And it was just the sweetest thing. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're on the chopping block, ma'am. I was tired. I told y'all she went. To... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Hi. And I'm sure they'll be happy to see you here. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, man. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Being school. Joey, if you're still here. Is there a way that you can save the spaces tomorrow so you can go back and replay it? So I've just been going over what was all shown in this trailer. Now, have you read about it? I think you did. Not really. I okay. remember AJ was like, oh, y'all should do a live. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> so, yes, there's a trailer today for the newcomers. Um, into the live. There's a trailer today that Graham King showed of the Michael movie. And although it's only halfway done, like the movie's halfway done, the, this trailer alone got the audience excited. And um, to start off, Graham King said that he's going to show in this movie all of Michael, him on stage and his personal life. Um, and then the footage of the of the trailer begins with scenes of screaming fans and cuts to Jackson as a little boy whose mother tells him, there might be some people who think you're different and it's going to make your life a little harder for you, but you were never you were never like anyone else. And then in a voiceover, a grown-up Jackson says of performing, it transports your entire being. That's what I want the world to feel like, magic. And then at one point, his voiceover also says, when I'm not on stage, everything feels foreign to me. And then Catherine in the trailer says, you have a very special light, so let the light shine into the world. So some more stuff that we found out is that Off the Wall and Bad Era, of course, is going to be in there. But Man in the Mirror was a key song heard throughout the trailer. I told the truth. That's my song. And um, oh, they say all saying hey. <laughs> I, the comments are like moving so fast, y'all. I'm so behind. Welcome, Trish. <laughs> I legitly feel like I'm still sleeping. I'm like, whoa. Oh, stop. Look who's here. <laughs> Scarlet. Trish. I'm tired to my work day. So... Don't let us keep you up. Don't do this to yourself. Oh, God. Um, I promise I'm going to catch back up with, with, with comments um, after I go back through this. So, oh, also, of course, they saw, they got to see Jafar performing as Michael in this trailer. And then they said that this movie is actually going to show the origins, Trish, the Gary Indiana days. 
I wonder. So clearly they're going to show something we didn't know before. They could. At least you're hoping. I mean, I'm not everyone seen American Dream, but most of the fans saw American Dream. So, Ooh, hey, Al. Oh, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Sorry, you okay? I I, I, yeah, I was like, uh, yesterday was a long day. That was a long day. <laughs> Once you didn't reply, I was like, uh oh. Okay. When I woke up, there was this really irritating sh show on, on YouTube that woke me up. And then I looked and went, oh, the live. I don't have one drop of makeup on me. God bless a good coconut oil skin regimen. Because I was just like, I cannot put on makeup. Just go on live. <laughs> oh. All right. So. Yeah, so like getting back to the American dream, it must be something we didn't know before, or something that they feel like it, we have to go back to the origin. Yeah, I, I said that I, I would like to see you know, the story where Catherine said the first time she heard Michael sing was like one time he was like making his bed when he was really little, and that's when she found out he could sing. I think they should put that in there. I'm super excited. We're almost a year away from this being shown. So we're one year and eight days away. Wow, this year's going quick. <laughs> um, but I'm impatient. Oh, that's my quick. It's whew. that's my question for you. When do you think that we'll get to see the trailer? I want to see these. I, I honestly thought it was today, and I was going to take off of work. But let's just say I don't have the luxury of taking off. So, yeah. So I um, you know, you know what I'm trying to design. No, I'm trying to design that I could do a live even from work. Wait till y'all see what I. Child I, Trish, about she about to be real unstoppable. Listen, I don't know what it is. I'm sure my job doesn't know I'm here right now. But I feel like there's things being done keeping me from doing what I need to do. So I was like, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I'm like, grateful if I have a job, but I have a kind of job that will not exist five years from now. I have to do what I got to do. Yeah. So, oh, good point. Um, oh, thank you. So this shirt was designed by Honey Dashe. Really? Mm -hmm. This is during the MJ Innocent campaign. Honey! Mm -hmm. I think it says truth runs runs in something. So truth runs in sprints, but something like oh, that. Lies run sprints, but the truth runs marathons. So... Dance. Yeah, so I was, it's a little day. Look, I, I get a lot of weight since she gave it to me. <laughs> Chuck, child, I, I'm gonna start. To me. No, it was bad. I got, I had this shirt. So when when did I MJ MC? That that was back in 2019. She gave me this shirt. So, mm -mm. so I don't know. Um, but everybody. Who was talking about it? Well, basically, I saw like two people. They were super excited. I said, "What the hell was this trailer? When are we going to see this trailer? Are we going to see the trailer?" I have no clue. Oh, I forgot to say. Did you know that there's going to be over thirty songs included from Michael his career? Which is a lot of songs. They said over thirty. Which is a lot of songs. That's three albums and more. Mm -mm. We we're about to be who somebody just said something. Somebody just said something very, very this one. This is how I feel right now. This film is not going to be groundbreaking, it's going to be truly earth shattering. Get ready. <laughs> 
I can't wait to see it. <laughs> uh, my only sad part is it, this is conflicting with something else I want to do. And I'm like, just based on this guy's reaction to the trailer, I'm like, I think I want to be in New York. Not New York, but just be be in my own country. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I got to see this in real time. Not that I can't see it in another country. But, you know, if anybody's ever traveled outside of their United States or even the state they're from, you don't know a state as well. You know, you're not going to be able to maneuver like you normally could. Mm -hmm. that, oh I just goodness. need them to tell us in advance, like months in advance, a good maybe a good year in advance. Hey, we're planning this. Get your travel, get your travel plans ready. Like oh they won't they never do they never do I'm um I think in a three weeks from now to you because I mean so certain things are done way in advance but I'm mm -hmm. working on on the v, not the vegan channel the vlog channel on just setting up systems just being ready for stuff. Because I'm starting to realize I'm not, I don't have the luxuries of time. It'll be like, are you avail available to do this now? And I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> then of course you're not ready, but I'm going to be ready. They'll be like, um, can you be here? Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> grab your bag. Let's go. So everything, I'm adjusting to everything. Everything, everything has changed a lot this year. Like, I was like, damn, we're not even into June. But, you know, get ready. Get ready. Like Trish said, and like I always say, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Take time. If you can take time off of work for April 17th, 18th, 19th, so you can get there the day before, wherever this, this premiere is, prepare, be there the day of the premiere, and then leave after or stay longer, wherever this is. So just just get ready. California, like that's actually a good point. Maybe maybe I could find a way to be there already. You mm -hmm. know, they have so many things that I could do. I don't know. Maybe visit my family for the first time. That is so crazy. I wonder how my family feels that I keep going to California, and never seeing them. Uh, oh, okay. Great. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if that I was I was thinking that too, and invite you. I could see, or maybe it was I'm king of popcorn events. <laughs> hmm, I could see. I thought Jafar was going to be there last year. I could maybe see him this year, but definitely next year for the birthday event, I could see him there as a Q and A guest. That way, the movie's been released. We can ask all the questions we need to. We know everything now. Nothing has to be hush hush anymore. So I I could see him. Maybe maybe he'll be like an appearance guest this year, and then next year he can be the Q and A guest. Um, Micah said the film should definitely come out sooner rather than later, simply because one, someone will try to leak the trailer or footage, and two, to get the critics' initial reactions and opinions out of the way. I think that's a good. Honestly, we... this time, even though I'm not a fan of critics, if it was trash, they would have said it in real time. They would want it to be true. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think this is something really good. They might as well just put it out. Give... Tomorrow, usually, a lot of times when they release something, Thursdays are the day they do it. So maybe we'll get it tomorrow. Wow. I, that would I, be crazy. I need to... Well, it's so funny. Remember, I said, "Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get no trips. I'm not booking no king of popcorns or nothing until I get what a computer and a phone." Guess what, y'all? I got both now. <laughs> I want to give it a shout. I can't say my phone company because they told you not to tell people where your phone company's from. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna give a shout out to my phone company. They got me a brand new iPhone for like less than twenty dollars a month. I said, "What?" And it would have been like almost free if I didn't get insurance. They were like, let's work out some stuff. What? So I guess it's a sign. 
It's time to book. Woo, 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 woo. Book, book any of those King of Popcorn things yet? Anybody? But I'm like, oh my gosh. Because I was just like, oh, I can't afford a phone. They were like, yes, you could. Give us a second. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's another, another, another reason why I'll be able to do more stuff on the go. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, because my, my, now I have a good phone. I had a little iPad mini, one to watch a reaction, one to see stuff with y'all. I cannot wait. The sky is the limit. Oh, what what an awesome, crazy year. Had a very crazy start, but what a, what what we ready to go? We ready because there's a lot of wonderful things happening for the Jacksons. I'm just I'm excited. I am excited. So yeah, you know what? Let's just get tickets. Good, I mean, like good thing it's right. Make sure I'm in California, April. Wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny though if I was in California and something was going to New York? <laughs> I just said take the time off of work a year in advance if you can. And then that way if you can get save have money saved up on the side, get you a last minute flight when they announce it. They might announce the last minute, but at least you'll have that day off of work. You'll have your money saved up on the side if you have to take a last minute flight and book a last minute hotel. And boom, you know. I would say maybe get three thousand dollars saved up. I don't know. <laughs> now, granted, I would still say save that much up, but the estate normally does free events. I just don't know. You know, this is a movie. You might have to buy a movie ticket or pay for something. Um, but I don't. It's I don't hard to get in the estate stuff, though. Um, but maybe we could do a fan driven thing if the estate doesn't have anything i know new york, you know it's so crazy i just thought about melanie because melanie did the last movie gathering for us oh my gosh it was was it a michael jackson halloween thing if i'm not mistaken it was something that was no thriller 3d and then they showed like some Halloween movie or something. And I remember she had everyone gathered. We were all dressed up and thriller stuff. So, uh, wow. Like you just, you, we're, we're still adjusting, by the way. New York has been very quiet since she passed away. But I remember she would say if we, if there was nothing official going on, she would make sure. No, 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 no. Oh, she did do something for Thriller 40. I think that one was at her house, but there was mm -hmm. something that she did for the whole fandom. And we were we all went to the theater at AMC at 34th Street. And we were walking down. I mean, people just knew something special was going because you just see everybody dressed up like my, little Michaels walking down. It was, yeah, man. I said, you know what? If they don't have any, like, um, if they don't have anything going on that the fans have access to, then. I definitely, I know Joy wanted to do something in New mm -hmm. York, get everyone together. So for sure, like if they're not, if there's no invites, not a problem. We're going to do something that goes for everybody. Like do something for the city that you're coming from. Like no need to fly. Just create that. Put that, put that out. I could do something. Where you're from. Yeah. I just got to see who's down. Like. Because, of course, I want to, first things first, my priority is being wherever, you know, the fans are, if there's a fan gathering. But if I'm like, hey, who want to go and, like, watch the Michael? I, I might even be like, hey, I'll pay for y'all to go. Just so, like, you know, I want this movie to break box office records, you know. Mm -hmm. and it'd be fun to see, like, people in my real life, like, reaction, like. Hmm. Also, it is an impact when you see you. So Comic Con is really big in New York. Why? Because you see all these people dressed up in costume mm -hmm. on a random day. Same thing when we did MJ stuff in New York. You're going to remember there was a bunch of people walking around with Michael Jackson stuff, which seemed to be a random day to y'all. But of course, people ask, "Hey, why are you dressed like that? What's going on?" So that's just like, oh, we got to make an impact. We do. We have to. like, what is going on? Are y'all having a Michael Jackson convention? We having a family reunion? 
in support of Michael Jackson. <laughs> you, anybody is welcome to join to that family. You can come along, buy, buy a ticket, come join us. I, it's, this is too big. <laughs> I was low key thinking that too. I need to be somewhere. No, I wouldn't mind doing Cali. And like, um, if I get to do the King of Popcorns this year, unfortunately, all the trips are in and out. Which means I'm not really seeing anything. It's just like, hey, boom, here. So it'd be nice the following year, 2025, to be able to so forth to stay put. Um, there's so many things in California, Michael Jackson related. Uh, too bad Gary it, it isn't travel friendly. Could you imagine doing the premiere in Gary and having that history and seeing in the house, going to the cafe? But there's not much in Gary we're flying into. I don't even know if there's a movie theater in Gary. Like, that's how different Gary, Indiana is. They, I mean, I guess they do have the house in the Hard Rock Cafe. They need to have a museum there or something. Like, for the family. Heck, yeah. So. They're working on things. They're working on things. We literally need that trailer leaked. <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> Y'all bad. It would be nice that it's like coming out soon. If if the trailer exists, come on. Getting into some of these dark comments. Um, Serena says, I know I'm thinking ahead, but can you imagine Jafar getting an Oscar and a Grammy? I honestly see it coming because a lot of people keep talking about how much he resembles and his mannerism is Michael Jackson. I could see that. I'm predicting it right now. This is going to be the most spot on portrayal Bio yeah. in biopic history. I'm, I'm calling it right now. Because the fact that I was doing a Google image search to find a bigger version of that picture of Jafar um that official picture of Jafar from the Dangerous Tour that was posted. And it pulled, Google pulled up Michael Jackson's credentials because it thought it was Michael. I'm calling it right now. This is this. And, and it would be deserved though, because we seen him from Got Me Singing. You know, he's dancing. And mm -hmm. then Got Me Singing, he's a good dancer, but you're not thinking, hey, that's Michael Jack. You know what I'm saying? Like, that means he worked for that. Am I wrong? But what? I'm sorry. I just saw you were there. You were there. Oh my gosh. Is it hype? Mr. Madman Swiss. Is it hype? Or this really is a trailer that made people go nuts? Please. Like they were the like the people in the tweets were saying, like, uh Jafar looks sensational as uncle michael the movie is only halfway through production but will feature 30 michael jackson songs and coleman domingo and nia long look great um then the girl next to him said i just got chills this biopic is going to be record breaking thank you once again lionsgate saved the best for last a first look at the michael jackson biopic just shook the audience now that's how you close out a presentation. And I like I told them earlier, Trish. If they saw all those, you know, releases or all the information about other movies before, before the Michael one, and this was the last one, and they are reacting like this compared to the other one, like. We got us a winner here. He said that it was very good. Okay. Yes, he can pull off the 1975 era. He can. Like, starting from 1975 era, they just might as well go ahead and get, um, get him onto the 1975 era. I don't... Don't... <laughs> I'm unwell. Mar? Mar, are you still here? Mar. You know, it might as well. I'm a oh my God. Cause that's Mars, that's Mars song right there. And short film. 
That's awesome, man. I'm so excited. This is worth rolling off the couch and, and, and just jumping on here. I was like, man. Because I felt like I was so every lunch I will go through my social media. I didn't do it today. That's why I was so lost. AJ goes, hey, we wouldn't mind alive. And I'm like, wait, for what? What's going on? Like, but when I got home and saw all the messages, Janya, um, somebody else hit me up. I was like, oh my gosh, I clearly missed a lot. I'm sorry, I'm over here recovering. No, this is this is cool. This is great news. Like me too. But that's not even all, y'all. And I know it took me a while to get to this, but um, shout out to AJ for sending me this. This is a play-by-play of what all was included. Now, I read some of it, but I was like, I'm going to wait to read it in the live so I can react to it with y'all. Um, Lionsgate closed out its cinema, CinemaCon, I almost said cinematic, CinemaCon 2024 presentation with the very first look at the Michael Jackson biopic. Um Michael, directed by Antoine, Antoine Fuqua, Michael's own nephew, Jafar Jackson, portrays him in the film. The footage covers all of the iconic eras from Jackson's career, starting with his humble beginnings in the Jackson 5, with the hit song ABC playing in the background. We then see a montage that goes from the Jackson 5 performing on television to Michael in his thriller era. We see Michael's iconic white socks and black shoes as he's dancing while singing. It's bad. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Shoes as he's singing, dancing and singing bad. Fans will be excited to know Jafar sounds just like his uncle, nailing all the vocal cadences when delivering dialogue. Michael Jackson is then shown in the late stages of his career after one of his accidents with visible with visible pale skin, long curly hair, a black fedora, face mask, and sunglasses getting flanked by security. He's walking towards a car while a crazy crowd of rabbit fans and paparazzi scream to get a photo, with some people even jumping on his car to get a glimpse of him. Cut back to his youth when Michael's mom tells him as he's wiping as she's wiping a tear off his face. You were never like anyone else. We then get an up close of Michael's finger snap and perform a man in the mirror to a massive crowd. We also get quick shots of young Michael singing Thriller Records with his short hair and iconic red jacket. Then there's a glimpse of Michael with his face wrapped up in gauze on a stretcher being led into a hospital, assuming this is a Pepsi commercial accident. The trailer directly confirms that this biopic will address the quote-unquote controversy of Jackson's career. The next image is of Michael on a balcony, which could be the baby dangling incident. There is a quick shot of Michael sitting at a piano taking a pill. We then see glimpses of Nia Long and Coleman Domingo as Michael's parents in his youth. The trailer ends with a shot of Michael in the white shirt, black pants combo performing in front of hundreds of fans. Jafar Jackson nails all of the dancing in the footage shown and is seen in various layers of makeup as the film Traverse, traverses the different images. Traverses? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, the different stages of Michael's life. The fact that a, a, a A written description has us in shambles this way. Imagine, imagine the movie. Oh my gosh. Everyone clapped when the trailer. Wow. What are we gonna wear for the um, <clears throat> Oscar party? Cause we we gotta have an Oscar party. We gotta have an Oscars watch party. We gotta have. Come with Jafar. I mean, you've you. A lot of people are talking about this, including his own family with Jafar. And it's the fact that I know for sure Tosh said he never really paid attention to the or really saw the resemblance. 
in about it might be like you know how people say oh you look just like your <laughs> your brother and it's like you see your brother you grow you see your brother so much it's kind of like a maybe an instance of oh it's too close and then outside perspective comes in and they, they see the resemblance is there they see it so it might just be kind of like one of those things but when Josh said that he saw the screen testing and Jafar and in the makeup and stuff that's when he saw it so the the family didn't even really see see it so much i'm guessing but to see him transform like they're all raving about him this is like a see i'm t i remember when um I, I was i was in the house and i i spotted him and we're talking and when i heard him speak i was like wait who am i talking i had to like do a double take like who am i talking to his cadence is naturally michael it that part is him listen i need y'all to go listen to michael talk just li listen to an interview or something go and then listen to jafar talk after that you are going to hear it you're going to hear it in the pacing of his words kind of like the way his voice sounds i would say he kind of has like i know I would say, you know, Michael would talk higher to preserve his like vocals and stuff, but Jafar does talk lower. Um, but the way that they pronounce their P's and their T's are the exact same. Actually, ma matter of fact, just go listen to when the the Christmas, uh, the Christmas performance when that boy sings "Tiny Tots." All I hear is Michael. <laughs> That's all I hear. He said two guys were tearing up. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you for sharing. But you know what's crazy? Cause... Like the, uh, the rest of that, though, that's a lot of hard work in terms of the dancing, the um, reading lines, studying. I'm like so excited for him because I said, even though some things are naturally his own. He's like Michael. There, there are other things that you know he he has to learn a lot. He had to learn a lot. You can already tell. Yeah, you already can dancing, tell. Like, yeah, their dancing styles, like Jafar's style, is not like Michael's. Um, so I'm sure he had to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Oh, acting's really hard. I I mm -hmm. dealt at it very young, and then of course when I went to film school, we had to be actors in our each other's projects i'm very good at imp, um, improv because i'm silly but i can't i can't retain lines so i'm like oh my god this must have been hard and i think dancing wise he had to really really push it because you know you could tell from got me singing yeah you're a good dancer but i wasn't saying oh he danced like make michael no i was not saying that but you know you're a good dancer you can get through chill to go from from got me singing to i'm now playing my uncle the greatest entertainer of all time what that must have been work out like 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 no other yeah oh my gosh yo mr madman swear said this is gonna make snaky and all the haters piss themselves it's that awesome and that was just the trailer well if snaky's here for victims' rights, she needs to pay attention to the people she call friends. There's so many people she can talk about. She need to pay attention to herself too. Oh, oh. and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I don't got tea, but I got water. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. I think hey. guess what? And they actually got receipts. <laughs> Just saying. So when this when this movie comes out. Hey, it's what it is, you know? The truth shall set you free. And I'm going to leave it at that. Truth runs marathons, like your shirt says. <laughs> this is getting me a bit emotional now because I can't believe it's almost here. The moment I've been waiting for June 25th, since June 25th, 2009. Oh, man. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Madman Swiss. Thank you for for that sharing this. I could. Whew. I'm surprised there isn't a, a a leak yet. 
There was. I, I just read that there was, but I it, it, I guess it quickly got taken down. They they might as well put that yeah. thing up. Yeah. Just, put the trailer out. Stop. Well, it, you know, if I wake up tomorrow, let me see. I got to see what time I go to work. But if I wake up tomorrow and see that there's a trailer, impromptu video will be done. Can't do a live because can't show it on screen, but impromptu reaction video will be done. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, they made y'all put up y'all phones. Child. Hmm. That, that, don't how, that don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> I'm wondering how, like, if because someone in here earlier said that, but they they said it got taken down. But um, child, if that I happened, never, now. I never leaked nothing like that. But I'm one of those people like, but I still would have recorded it, <laughs> even though they're on point. I've gone to things like there was one event. Um. Chris Tucker, they put your phone in a pouch, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, oh, what? I know at schools, like even at schools, you know, they they try to be super restrictive when let like, kids have their phone. Like, I'm talking about like middle school, high school. They'll like lock it up in a pouch. You can't, you can't unlock it. If you get it, you can't, you can't do nothing. But they got to do it. So. But hey, in a situation like this, they needed to lock. They needed to do like um, you know those security um gadgets where they can detect if there's like audio recording or video recording things. That's what they should have done. They should have done a scan. Like what you got on you? <laughs> they need to do that with the people on set too. Cause how they how they getting all this stuff out? Oh. When I did Creed 2, they locked our phones. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> Mr. Madman Swiss, you are the luckiest person in this room today. Oh, it's so funny. Joey's here. We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you because I said... um. I am supposed to be in Japan, but I think I'm going to cancel that trip and um, hopefully see if we can get inside of some kind of special screening. But if not, uh, definitely, Joe, we could hook up and, get, you know, get something going. Because, uh, you know, Miss, M Miss Melanie would get this kind of stuff out done. And it's like, that's so great that someone like you is, is stepping up to make sure some of these traditions keep going. Yeah, we need that because it definitely. I, 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 that's one of my my regrets that um I I wasn't born in in uh like 1970 or something. Even just the 80s, I, I wasn't born then. I could not experience the fan clubs, the fan meetups, or be one of those. You know, like if I was one of those fans back then if I was born I would be the one like where's Tori at oh she over there in Germany Steve Michael's performance when she gets to Germany <laughs> like I would be all over the world <laughs> oh um I thought about seeing it out there but the problem is because I've never been to Japan and plus the Star Wars, it will be my first time doing a particular Star Wars event. It would just be overwhelming in a bad way. Like, I've done Star Wars events. They're very much like Michael Jackson events. You kind of have to, like, pick a lane. You know, because that's like... What happened? I, I glitched? I think I glitched. So, Yo, um, I might have to get off of here soon. It's, it's, we'll we'll see. Like, and then because Japan's seventeen hours away, there's just no way. You know what I'm saying? This is like, uh like if I had to pick one thing, I I would pick Michael over Star Wars. Now that's a strong statement. <laughs> they are equally part of my childhood, but I was like, nah, this is. This is, it looks like you want to watch it in real time with the fans. 
Now, if they do a Japan fan meetup, then I'll then I would make this work, you know. But mm -hmm. but logically, I um, MJ Fangirl would be better for Japan because she speaks Japanese. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, nah, yeah, that would be cool coverage of like if they had a they had a Japan, my, and I think they would. They're big on Michael. Yeah, in that region, and the um, Michael Jackson fan club in China. They they do they do a lot of stuff for him too. Um, oh, this comment, Junya, made me remember something from I think yesterday. So that video where Rich was he was only showing himself, but you could hear audio of like a live performance of this the uh, this place hotel. I didn't know. I was like, what's that? Like, is that just like audio of like the Jacksons like on tour or something or what? And so. I was just, I left it at that. And then I went back to go watch it because my brother was like, that's definitely Jafar singing. I couldn't figure out if it was. And so he was like, listen, listen closely. And I was listening. I was like, yeah, that's definitely him. And then I forgot that there was more at the end. He was like, no, keep watching. I was like, I was like, it's literally almost done. It's like two seconds left. It's, it's done. He was like, keep listening. And then it was the part where it goes, I think he sings like he, he or something like that. But it's so scary because it sounds just like Michael. So if y'all if y'all got that footage still, or if y'all go back and find it, listen to it and listen to it closely. You can tell it's Jafar, but it sounds so much like Michael, and that's just a glimpse of what we're about to get. If we all go there. Go to the theater opening day, guarantee billions of dollars. We need to be at the at least at the top of the highest grossing biopic. I would love to see the highest, I love to see this as the highest grossing film of all time, but at least for the biopic. Um, definitely going to get as many people informed about that. Yeah, get the flyers and, and stuff. I would also reach out to the now it's called the Melanie's Michael Jackson fans in New York. I would reach out to that group because they have the biggest mobilized New York stuff and let and just say, hey, I really would mm -hmm. like to partner with you to get the word out and 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 get everyone together. So we have a year and eight days to to really think about how to mobilize whether I'm in New York or not, but I would definitely reach out to the administrators of that fan group because at least the, everyone knows that's where all the New York information goes. Um, but I would say like, so like I would say a good two to three months before we need to be like, okay, this is what's going on. Da, 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 da. Um, I'm hoping my money's way stronger than it is right now. I said, I would even do multiple States to cover this. Um, and really get this going. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is really freaking awesome. I would say Cali and New York are probably the top two places. This is going to be important. And like I said, Gary, get Indiana would be great, but I don't remember anything really being down there except for that casino. Um, so probably New York and Cali would be the main United State gatherings. And then if like people want to do something special for their city, do it. Cause uh, I know that girl. What's that girl? She's blues away. Blues she's, away, MJ. She's doing her thing in her area now. Like I see some of you, you uh, moonwalkers, just stepping up in spaces that there was a big void. Mm hmm. She's she's in um, Texas, and she does events and stuff. So I would say follow her. Is blues away, MJ? If you live. Texas down south, or even if you would just travel. Um, oh, she's really big on TikTok. Check her out on TikTok if you got TikTok. She does like daily live streams where she dances to Michael's music and stuff. So I would say check her out. Um, and then who else does in-person events? I know Vernay's doing the pool party this year 
the last pool party, just throw it out there, just in case you're like, oh, I should go. This is the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she didn't say it may be the last forever, but she says it's going to be the last for a long time. So if you ever went to the pool party, I'm thinking about doing an Uber. I have no way to get down there. (laughs) (laughs) It's only this event of being a non-driver. It's so hard to get to things like that. This is so cool. They said that, okay, Mr. Madman Swiss, Giuliano looked a little better than Jason Weaver. Graham King, Graham King, please, please let us. Please let us see this. Can I wake up tomorrow with my people blowing up my phone? Like, look, it's here. Please. Joseph Moonwalker. Is he in New York too? That's really, that. it is saying something. Oh my gosh. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait anymore. That um, year is going to be... That's one thing I noticed. I, I remember when we were going through the 2020... I don't want to say certain words to mess up your life. The 2020 era. Time went really slow. Now that we're back to work, life's back to normal, I notice time goes quick. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, I want you to blink and it's going to be a year from now. But all right, y'all, these are the cities that do something special. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, Cause I don't really don't, I, I don't really think there'll be like a huge estate kind of a thing only because you, you're trying to buy tickets. So, or, you know, you're trying to push ticket sales, but even even if I went to an estate thing, you know I'm already buying tickets just so I can get those numbers up for them. Like, mm-hmm. like I'm flying back home and I'm trying to make my brother go with me, but he's he he's an interesting individual. I said he just want to see the pictures. He just want he's just fascinated with the resemblance of Jafar transforming into Michael and how much he'll look like him and sound like him. And I was like, you don't want to sit there and watch the movie. He's like. We'll see. I don't know. I'm well, like everybody's gonna want to watch. He needs to watch it. Everybody's gonna want to watch. He said the trailer was one minute, but quick parts. So I'm assuming it was a lot of stuff in there, but may- it was just like super quick clips. We have a lot to look forward to. Um. Oh, that's another thing that I forget got to mention. Really big thing. Y'all. Producer okay. Graham King is... Uh-oh, I didn't mean to put that up there like that. Producer Graham King is on the stage talking... I guess they're like doing live updates of the um, CinemaCon. Um, talking about the film and how great the Michael story will be. 30 songs in the movie and he will get into all the good and bad of his life. Runtime will be extremely long, even though it's still being filmed. A first look is about to be shown. So were we bamboozled? Because we were being told it was only going to be two hours. I'm down for a three-hour movie. But three sounds more realistic. So get get you the, the pin diapers on so you don't have to get up during the movie. And um, drink as little water as possible or soda. Just focus on your popcorn. Mm-hmm. I hate when you see a long movie and then you gotta go to the bathroom. And have you noticed the bathroom is never, nowhere near the movie theater. So you're like, nah, 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 nah. Have a strategy. Ooh. Drive fast. Just kidding about the drive fast. God forbid then you guys get sick. But you know what I'm saying? Like, have a have a plan. You might want to go to the bathroom before it starts. Skip that soda. <laughs> Sit in and enjoy. Yeah. If 
Bohemian Rhapsody was 249. It felt like it was five seconds. That movie went fast. That I did see. My uh, I don't want this to be fast. When it when you're watching something that's good, it just goes fast. He need to be like Tyler. You know how Tyler Perry would try him and really try and like make us believe a scene is funny. So he'll keep dragging it out. It's just like Medea and Joe sitting on a couch roasting each other, and ain't even that funny. It's like, okay, can we move it on? <laughs> I need that type of tactic. Just have the scene just long and drawn out. Not super long to where you can't fit everything into the story, but like you, you know what I'm saying? Like make us feel like it's three hours. And if it, that movie was two hours and forty nine minutes, the Michael movie gotta be that, gotta be a, like at least around three hours. Right. It needs to be. Oh, so Graham was talking there? But does Graham do like a like a talking panel? Yeah. I get I, I, those quotes that I was reading earlier, some of them were or I guess one of them was from him. But yeah. So it is confirmed that Graham King said three hours. That's awesome. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah, he was there. Um, this picture. I think this was him from today. I guess technically yesterday. Y'all, it is almost 1 a.m. East Coast time. Y'all still rocking with us? I, I'm well, a, I actually took a nap. <laughs> wow. Y'all. This, yes. Like... Oh, he was just to have someone in here with this kind of feedback. You're awesome, Mr. Mansmith, Mad Mansmith. <laughs> hmm. I hope it was at least recorded so when the time comes, we can see we can see everything that he said. Because what's interesting is that none of the articles shared that so i wonder if maybe that maybe we like they couldn't put that in there i don't know but that should have been a huge thing to put in there like the fact that he was getting emotional to talk about jafar and that he said it's three hours flat oh thank you so much oh thank you wow who knew yeah. that just walking past each other in Vegas would lead to this? I'm getting Literally. emotional. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Not a universal tsunami. Yo, metaphors are getting me. Wow. I'm going to read a few more comments. Um, and then I'm going to I'm gonna call a night. This is, I'm glad I did this live. I'm, 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 so I'm very glad you stuck it out because I, I couldn't imagine me and Tori were talking and I remember like I don't know like my body was just starting to like do something weird because mm -hmm. I mean, we, we had a we had a long day the day before we did station head for 11 hours and then we're not going to reveal too much of what happened yesterday but then of course we had to talk to each other da -da 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 -da. I think we went to bed around one, right? Something like that. I went <laughs> so, a little later. Yeah. So the minutes is it exactly three hours? Like three hours and zero minutes, or will it be like three hours and like twenty three minutes, or three hours and ten minutes, or something? Oh, this was definitely like. No, thank you for encouraging us because I I text Tori. I said, hey, um. You know, everybody AJ said do a live, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> don't toy. Everybody, <laughs> uh, let me catch you up. So I'll do it. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, yo, Latoya is in the movie because Michael moved to New York to film the. 
So we're getting Studio 54 footage. I, I mean, not, like, not footage, footage, but, like, scenes. I, I hope we are. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Like, if you're doing a New York... If we're doing a New York thing, then maybe I might be inspired to do something from The Wiz, because that's a New York micro reference. Yo, are they going to film in New York, then? Trish? Oh, I don't know. If he moved... If they're showing him... Moving to New York. Oh my gosh. I'm available even when I'm not. <laughs> Trish, I can see you on a, a, a I'm gonna take a lunch break. Oh, you going out today? Yep. <laughs> Next thing you know, we watching the movie like you know, the only issue <laughs> is like my, my companies follow me, so I can't get away with so much. So yesterday when I did the station head, I was just like, yo, lose the money because you can't be doing station head and you're supposed to be at work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mm -hmm. think they knew that existed, but you just don't want to take a chance. So I said, like, oh, I'll find a way to get that money back. <laughs> like, you ain't stopping. Because I've never seen this kind of energy in the MJ community because usually things are like, like this for Michael, but now everything's like this for all of them. I've never experienced all of them this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get things going. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Oh my gosh, like, I, I don't even know if I'll be able to fathom what we're about to see on that screen. But if y'all think this is my reaction is crazy here. I hope they allow screaming and hollering in that studio. I'm not studio, Lord, um, in that theater. Cause we will be we'll be doing all of the above. Screaming, hollering, laughing, singing. We might even get up and dance. Who knows? So he said, maybe a little, but not too much. I'm thinking that's referring to the studio 54 or the, the filming in New York. Out of all the trailers, everyone talked about Michael at the end of the event. Y'all are so blessed. I get it. There's something about Michael and his legacy that really is like no other. Can we talk about like this year and a few months marks the 15th anniversary of him passing away. We are still interacting with his legacy as if he is alive and well. Mm -hmm. That in that itself is history. So... And then I see like all the YouTubers and TikTokers doing content, new new dance steps and new like, because there's something about the music that sonically is classic. Like, I remember when, when we did our station hat yesterday and we were playing like stuff from the 70s and some of it was new to certain people, but everybody was like, oh, this is good. This is good. When I heard their stuff, it was when after Michael died. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Why wasn't my mama playing this? That their music just ages very well. That goes for all of them. Uh, Michael Jackson, the Jackson, 3T. It just ages really well. Yeah. It, it's timeless. Timeless, for real. Yeah, someone said I could be an extra. Yes and no. I definitely look like someone from the era for real. <laughs> But the only thing is, I keep eating too, one too many biscuits. I need it. I be trust me. I lost uh, some weight since, but I could. Yeah. I should have I act like they were like you could be an extra. But just hide in the DJ booth for Michael. Right? They were just very skinny. <laughs> like so, I I used to wear my mom's clothes. They were much small, like a size eight back then. It would be equivalent to a size four now. They were much smaller back then. Much mm -hmm. smaller. I'd be like, maybe because they didn't have a lot of additives and preservatives and steroids in their food, but they were much smaller than us. Like, I was like, mommy, did you really fit this? <laughs> and she, my mom was considered not fat, but she, she, she was considered like something in the middle. And I'm like, mommy, you're tiny. Like every time I get my mom's clothes, I'm like, you're tiny compared to us. They're, they're, they were way smaller than the, well, well, then again, they put stuff in our food to make us, but you know. <laughs> but that I, um, I say all that. I definitely ha have a seventies face for sure, especially when you put me in an afro. You could just tell 
I mean, I was born in that era and I look like the people from that era, but I need to stop eating bad food so I could be like, the bad news is they're going to be, if they come in New York, it's going to be, they're going to be here any minute. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can lose weight quick, but not that quick. (laughs) Doesn't seem like they were there because it just seemed like Graham King was mentioned it when he was talking. Um, so still hope, but y'all, I know the exact performance. Wait, let me make sure I know exactly. Is this the one that was on American Bandstand? Oh, God. Oh, I remember those outfits. Wait a minute. And I need to know, is Randy Jackson going to be in? He has to be in there. Yep, this is American Bandstand 1979. It has it has to be yes, American Bandstand because that guy is gonna be um Dick Clark. Yes. we we win. We're winning. We're winning. I expect no less because MJ's reach has no Im- limitation. This film will be like five films in one, kind of like Forrest Gump. I mean, for crying out loud. MJ had cereal in J5 and was on Sesame Street. Yes. Cereal commercials. Oh, my God. Just so many different things. Yo, what if they, like, low-key include the, um, they might have to borrow it from, from Renee and Ryan. The, you know, the cereal box with the record on the back, the Jackson 5 record? Oh. <laughs> They were the ones that put me on it. I was like, "Yeah, it's so funny what Janya wrote." So you're, we're in luck, Janya. I could bring this up now because this is very relevant. So mm-hmm. around April twentieth, they always sh- do a Michael versus Prince party because it's an anniversary of Prince's death by DJ Spinner. So what we need to do is hopefully DJ. He's so he's doing one this year. That's why I brought that up. So April 20th, I believe, is that party in Brooklyn. Now, you fast forward another year, knowing DJ Spinner, there's going to be another party. So you already know, even if I'm in California, I will be back in New York in five minutes. We we definitely need to make sure that we're in that, that DJ Spinner party in celebration of the Michael um, biopic. So... The good thing is we wouldn't have to do a special party. We just probably, I honestly wish it was just a Michael party, but maybe he can make an exception. Because I understand why he's doing what he's doing, but I'm like, can we just get a Michael party next year, please? Please. No, like, no shake the prince, but. Like, he can he can still do a prince party. Just do it, like, on, like, you know, his his birthday or or something, you know? Like, but I, I next year is going to be a really big year for Michael. And I just think that let him have his time to shine. Let him have his time. And so much love for DJ Spinner for always making sure that New York, no matter what was going on, Michael had a safe place here. Like Mm -hmm. no matter what, no matter what year it was since Michael died, DJ Spinner was doing parties, whether he was getting money from, you know, in a state event, or he was just coming out of his own pocket. He always makes sure that New York City has something for Michael all the time. So I'm like, wow. I'm almost sure the part that's coming up next week, that's that's out of his pocket, you know? Ooh. So more casting coming, coming soon. Um, I really would like to know, like, maybe, I don't know if he could find a way to release, like, you know, what he's talked about, or if it just has to be like, you know, private for the time being, but if he could release the, like a 20 minute video, then, and of course press was there because, you know, that picture was an official release. I think it was from Getty, but, um. I would hope, I would hope we can get something. Listen, 
I need to make my way there. I, I've been wanting to go to New York. I always said, I need to be with a native. I, need to I, don't, be with a native. I, I don't mind us hanging out. My apartment, though, little ratchet. We might have to find a way. We have to find a good hotel to put you in. But um, we could definitely work something out for sure. I pro mm -hmm. probably have to take, a, take off that week from work. Cause I'm like, whoa, there's a lot going on. We got the DJ spinner party. We have the biopic. And if I'm not mistaken, the biopic will probably be on the 18th, which means that party will probably be the next day. I don't even have to see my calendar. Most movies come out on a Friday. DJ spinner yeah, does yeah. it the first Saturday around Prince's death, which is April 21st. So, oh. and hmm. now DJ Spinner is an actual Hill Los Angeles ambassador. Mm -hmm. I forgot he was in there. Wow, but it makes sense though because him and Spike Lee are good friends. But um, you know what makes DJ Spinner cool? Like he there's just something. It's on MJ Fangirl's vlog. There was. The year of Leaving Lives came out, he did a party and he stood up for Michael and MJ Fangirl has that, the, the video of that. You know, he does a lot of things that makes you know, like, nah, I know this dude's innocent. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we remember what that era was like. That, that was tough. So I was like, no, DJ Spin is the real one because like I said, he'll do events out of his own pocket. That's what's wow. up, man. That's what's up. For those who live near the Brooklyn area, definitely show love. Um, I know if you're from the other side of New York, it's not that easy to get to. But if you're from Brooklyn or have a way to get down there or stay down there, yeah, definitely show love. I, I want to try to get the information up in our next live. Um, it's only, that's only a couple of days away. Uh, next Saturday. I need to plug the live for technically tomorrow night now since it's like it's, it is Thursday, East Coast time. Um, so I'm going to read a few more comments and then I'm going to I'm going to call it a night. Um, so we also oh, What? October? Over. Boo. Can we get a okay? What about a teaser though? Come on. Teaser. Come on. Maybe even some more photos. Like I'll I'll take like you know they they gave us a dangerous photo. Maybe another one. Like Something. <laughs> even, even that still picture, you know what song he's singing because mm -hmm. he's gotten down that um, oh. October. I would hope we get something sooner than that. Oh, this was in regards to the uh, Gary days. Uh, so Butterfly said, not every no everyone knows the origin. This movie will be seen by people who aren't fans, so they need to know Michael's beginnings, which were his foundation. That's a good point. We agree. Respect, respect. Salute, salute. <laughs> they need to show that three tier bunk bed set that the brother slept in and Gary, and how many times on tour the on tour the brother shared a bed. Yeah, humble beginnings. Yes. Yeah. Like uh, even more, even depictions again of them traveling through the the Chitlin circuit to do the small gigs and stuff and then Michael and Marlon uh gosh I think it was Jackie one of the older brothers said Michael and Marlon would get all the money and they would throw the chains and stuff at them uh because they were so little and they would get down and get it this trailer got me hyped because I was just like it was funny like once I got home and read what I missed I go oh oh wow a lot could a lot could happen in the afternoon if you're an MJ fan. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good way to think about it. This that will help the thriller challenge because it'll get more hype around Michael 
and then it can help with the thriller challenge. He said a teaser might be August. If they could time it near Michael's birthday slash have that teaser for Vegas, I don't know if I'm doing Vegas this year, but still, I'm not going to hate on the people that are actually going to be there. Yo, get that blessing. Mm -hmm. Get that blessing. What? We might get a blessing. Yeah, I don't have friends in the industry anymore. I used to have a best friend in the industry, and now we get the official posters. I need to give her a call. I'll be like, hey, do you know somebody who still works <laughs> for blah, blah, blah? Oh, I wonder if they're going to be like collectibles for this, like posters. <clears throat> I would love for us to get like popcorn buckets, movie posters and stuff. Heck yeah. I know what this is it. They gave out like lanyards or something like that at the theater. It was something. I, I wasn't I wasn't able to see it at that time. I saw it like after, like I had to rent the DVD or something. Why do I feel like we need to have like t-shirts made for the Thriller Challenge this year? Like t-shirts, bags, tote bags, that kind of stuff. Just, you know, just thinking. Because I was just like, that and we need more people on Station Head and getting comfortable. Like, hi, good morning, brush your teeth. Let me Tune into a channel today, like for real. Like we should start forming habits now with Station Head, so that when the challenges come, it's like, "Good morning, too." <laughs> yeah, we we got to be on it this year. Oh, it's in the works. Um. Oh. This comment. So, I would like to see. Uh, I would love a scene of comedic relief. Like, I don't know if you remember the recording session of when MJ did those big eyes or recording jump for joy. That needs to. Yeah, so he was like, it was like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do. It. And then he was like, <laughs> to one of the brothers. Oh wait, that whole scene could just be in there. Like, that's such like a little known. To the to the like outside world, such a little known video. Um, you made me think of something though. There was a story Michael Bush told where they wanted Michael to wear uh for remember the time for the short film, they wanted Michael to wear a headpiece, but Michael didn't want to wear the headpiece. So when it came time for him to wear it, the headpiece went missing. I'm like, where to go? And he was just like, I don't know. And then I think Michael Bush went to like his trailer or something and it was <laughs> Michael <laughs> hit it. <laughs> so they put that in there. I would love that. And I'm glad they did not make, I'm glad he hit it and um, he didn't end up wearing it because his hair was late in that video. Oh. AJ, you oh. right up my alley. Come on. Oh, man, that means we got to. Hey, y'all, if stuff is being planned like this, we got to go hard this year. We have to go hard. Wow. So um, I'm just, I'm going to call it a night with this one, but make sure y'all um, join us Friday. Let me see if I have it. Do I have it? Let me get my beanie on for this. Baby, I can feel what we have is real. <laughs> I can use my glasses too, but hold on. <laughs> uh oh, you gotta do the switcheroo. Malcolm Moore. Apart, time, be still. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should be singing my favorite song, Damage, but that's that's hard for me to hit. Shout out to TJ Jackson. Shout out to TJ Jackson. I feel like reading a poem now that I got these glasses on. <laughs> the Michael movie. What 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 it uh the Michael movie will not be groundbreaking. It will be earth shattering. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps. But yeah, so we're gonna do an MMM watch party on Gadget's channel tomorrow. If you 
are new or unfamiliar with Gadget Trish. Hold on, let me Her just name say is oh. I Love the Jackson Family. Her TJ shirt. Yeah. Woo Damage. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to the Jacksons. Keep shining. All of y'all. Each and every one of y'all. Keep streaming. MMM. Throw some Janet up in the mix. Throw some Michael in your playlist. <laughs> Represent. Woo woo. So, yes, come join us. It'll be 1045 p.m. Eastern time on okay. Friday. And oh, 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 oh. sleep again. <laughs> Um. Well, I don't know if I the show can go on then because that's your live. But yeah, join us, support TJ. We are a Jackson family. Uh, whoa, plural. We are Jackson family fans. We support all the Jacksons. Um. So it goes for all the generations, and we give them love. Um. So thank y'all for joining and. Um, for the for the love today, so happy to see so many of y'all in this discussion, and we found out some really good things. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, of course, I, we we needed this. We, I didn't even know I needed this, but we needed it. The Jacksons are bomb. We're we're, we're still going, but we're about to we're about to end it. So that is all. Have a great night. Thank y'all again. And I adore you. <laughs> As Mike would say, the best is yet to come. There's more to come. So good night. Thank y'all. Bye.